So let's do this. What are the other ones? Okay. So last class, what we were discussing? I think we were discussing about that. Uh, Screening and all right. Am I right? Do you remember anyone what did we do the last class? Okay, so today, uh, before starting the class, I would like to show you my video. Okay, I just want to show you the whole process of the wastewater treatment. Okay. How the treatment process is uh, done, what are the steps, you just see with an animated video, so you will uh, understand it better, okay. So whatever we studied till now, like screening we have uh, studied, okay, and green chambers also we have studied. So uh, after that, what processes will come, you just uh, see in the video, you will a little bit even understand, okay. And after that, we will start our uh, today's topic okay now I think that we just tank and skimming tank is left okay so let me share my screen uh, you tell me if you can uh, hear the audio okay can you hear the audio Please mention in the chat box once if you can hear the audio. Cities and towns have sewerage systems in place to carry the wastewater from our home. Can you hear the big audio, students? Yes or no? You can't hear the audio. Homes? hotels, factories, and other establishments to a sewerage treatment plant where the wastewater is treated. It is then deemed safe to release into other water sources. The treatment of wastewater goes through different stages. Wastewater is treated to remove the physical, Can chemical, and biological contaminants Somebody present in it through box. various processes. Okay, one student can hear, okay? I think it, it, should be, uh, it should be audible, okay? Let me try once again. Video to this group, no, I presume. I don't know. Please uh, mention in the chat box if you can uh, hear. Whenever you can hear, you please mention. Okay. Cities and towns have sewerage systems in place to carry the wastewater from our homes, hotels, factories, and other establishments to a sewerage treatment plant where the wastewater is treated. It is then deemed safe to release into other water sources. The treatment of wastewater goes through different stages. Wastewater is treated to remove the physical, chemical, and biological contaminants present in it through various processes. The pre-treatment process 
involves the sewage being sent through grids or vertical bars that can remove large solid substances like metal cans, paper and plastic materials. In primary treatment process, the sewage flows through the grit chamber very slowly so that the sand, pebbles and soil settle down at the bottom. The sewage flows into the settling tank or sedimentation tank where the solid wastes like feces are allowed to settle down. Wastes such as soaps, oils and grease rise to the top of the wastewater. The waste material that settles down at the bottom is called the sludge and the floatable material is called the scum. Scum is then removed using a skimmer and sludge is removed with a scraper every few days. The water that is left out is called the clarified water. In the secondary treatment process, biological or organic wastes are removed. It is a biological process. This is done by transferring the clarified water into an aeration tank where air blowers bubble air which helps the aerobic bacteria to grow and feed on the organic contaminants such as food waste, feces and other organisms. The mixture then flows from the aeration tank into the clarifier where activated sludge settles out by gravity. The activated sludge so produced along with the sludge produced in the primary process is transferred to the digester where it is decomposed by anaerobic bacteria. Biogas is produced in this process, which can be used as fuel or can be used to produce electricity. The activated sludge is then left in the sand drying beds. Some quantity of water in the activated sludge evaporates and the remaining quantity drains through the sand beds. This leaves behind the remaining dried sludge which can be used for making fertilizers or compost. In the tertiary treatment process, the leftover wastewater is treated with chlorine to remove the phosphorus compounds, nitrogen compounds and bacteria. It is a chemical process. Chlorine tablets are added to kill the germs. This process is called chlorination. Then this water is let off into the water bodies. Okay. So you have seen the video. Okay, now you have, I think, uh, got a little bit of idea. Yes, yeah, so how the things are done, how the things are done, is just a basic one of it. Um, like we have to discuss in details a little bit, but in the process or the steps after which one, uh, which treatment is done, you should be aware of that. Okay, so uh, last class, I think, uh, just wait, let me share with you. The grid chambers have we done? Grid chambers we have done or not? I think yes, we have done the numericals, right? We have done the last two numericals uh, of the grid chamber and aerative grid chambers, as far I remember. Up to this part, we have done. Okay, so next for today. Thank you. We will do a uh, decretus tank. Okay, so this decretus tank, uh, after your uh, this grid chamber itself, after that, we have decretus tank. So this decretus tank, these are also uh, rectangular grid uh, chambers. Okay. These are rectangular grid chambers and they are they are helping or they are designed with a smaller flow velocity. Okay, like uh, the flow velocity is written, it's 0 0.09 meter per second. Okay, and they have a longer detention period. Okay, like uh, three to four minutes. So in aerated uh, 
grid chamber we had a detention period of three minutes okay up to three minutes we have and now for your decorator's tank we are having a detention period of about three to four minutes so that uh, they can uh, not only uh, remove the larger grid but also they can remove all the uh, you know fine or uh, sand particles that are present in the uh, wastewater okay so uh, like uh, the main thing about the detritus tank is that uh, these also remove your uh, grids itself okay like uh, they separate out the your larger grids also and also the very fine sand particles also okay so now um, we will do what the numerical related to the detritus tank so this is the question you see the question uh, like design a suitable grid chamber, come the equitus then for sewage treatment plan, getting a dry weather flow. The dry weather flow we have already discussed while uh, learning the water long water engineering. Okay, so uh, from a separate sewer system at 400 liter per second. So, what is the discharge given? It is given as your 400 liter per second. So, your flow velocity is also given as your 0 0.2 meter per second and the detention period it is given as your 2 minutes so here the detention period is mentioned okay so and also the maximum flow it is uh, given to be assumed okay it is three times of your dry weather flow okay so now we need to design the grid chamber or you can say come decretus tank okay so how to design so uh, design that means we need the length, breadth, and width. Okay, so we need all those things. So, first, like we need to find out the length. Okay, so length this one you see that we need. Okay. So, we have a detritus and then to find out the length that means your velocity into detention time. As per you have done your added grid chamber and also the grid chamber. The formula is same, okay. So it is velocity into detention time. So it's uh, like your velocity is given as a 0 0.2. Let me change the color. Okay, it is 0 0.2 and a retention time it is given as your 3 minutes, okay. So they have converted it to seconds, okay. Uh, then 3 or 2, 2 minutes, okay. Sorry, 2 minutes is given, so they have converted to seconds. And so the length we got it to be 24 meter. Okay, so after finding out the length, what you need to do, uh, it's written in the question that you have to assume the maximum flow to be three times of the dry weather flow. Okay, so we will design or we will provide three detritus tanks. Okay, we will uh, provide three detritus tanks and each design for passing what dry weather flow. Okay, so now uh, you have to. Uh, the discharge is given. You see, this is the discharge, it is given as a 400 meter per second, uh, and you need to convert it to meter to per second. Okay, then it will be 0 0.4 meter to per second. Then you find out the cross sectional area. Okay, cross sectional area formula is equal to everyone knows that Q is equal to AB. Yes, Q is equal to. AB. So from that formula, you find out the area. Okay, so it will be discharge by velocity. So discharge just now you have converted 0 0.4 and velocity is 0 0.2. Okay, so you will get 2 meters square. Now, what you will find? You will be finding the width. Okay, cross section area you have got. Now you will find out the width. So how to find out the width? You have to assume something. Okay, because here the water depth is not given. So for a decorator's tank, we can assume the water depth okay, to be 1.2 meter. Okay, here for a decorator's tank, we can assume it to be 1.2 meter. Okay, so uh, now you can, after knowing the depth of the water, you can find out the width of the tank. Okay, how to find out the width of the tank? The formula is area by depth. Okay. It is area by depth. So, what is the area you got? You got it in two. Okay. Just now you have found out this two. So, it is two by one point two. So, you got it in one point six seven, or you can uh, as a whole uh, number you can write it to be one point seven meter. 
so now the size we got okay what is the size that we have we have designed here and we have got it is 24 meter okay the length we have got it to be 24 meter then uh, water depth you have uh, assumed to be 1.2 okay and the width you got it to be 1.7 okay so this is the size of your depth with us then clear so now as i already told that whatever uh, length you will be uh, getting sorry whatever depth you will be getting so you have to add a free board okay you have to add a certain free board so here they have allowed a free board of 0 0.3 meter okay and also they have provided a depth space okay that space depth also they have provided for a depreter stand so that they can collect the depreters okay so this is the this is the overall depth if you if you uh, sum uh, summed up okay if you add up the, the theoretical uh, depth value that's the free board and the your uh, this uh, that space okay so if you add those three then you will get up uh, get the overall depth of the tank here yeah. so uh, for again uh, after solving the whole thing they have just drawn it okay so this part uh, as i'm saying you know, the dead space this is the dead space you see this part okay this part is your dead space and this is the shape of your decorator tank okay this is the shape of your decorator tank so here is the free board this 0 0.3 is the free board okay the length we got 1.7 Okay, this water depth we got assumed to be 1.2. Okay, and the width we got it to be 0 0.8. Okay, so everything we got. So finally, the numerical is solved. Okay, so it's not that hard. It's similar to your uh, Greek chamber numerical. So by sequence, if you go through each and every numerical, you will understand. Okay. So your depreter's tank, the main thing is what it is also required for removing the grids. Okay, and it has a retention period of about three to four minutes, and also it has a flow velocity of about 0 0.09 meter per second. Okay. So uh, then after your depreter's tank, uh, your next is your um, skinning tank. Okay, this is your skinning tank. So what is the use for the skinning pen? You can see in the heading. Yes, you can see in the heading, it's for removing oils and grease. Okay, it's for removing oils and grease that are present in the wastewater. So, you see, what's written here, the skinning pens, they are used for removing the oils and creases from the sewage and they are placed what before the sedimentation tanks okay so they are placed before your sedimentation tanks this that means that after the skinning tank your sedimentation process will come okay so now here uh, uh, they remove the what grease or oils which includes what fats waxes soaps and fatty fatty acids and all those things okay so these materials they may enter the sewage from where from the kitchens of uh, from the kitchens you can see from restaurants houses okay from garages factories all those things uh, these oils the, or creases they come okay so and a, these uh, creases creases and oils they should be removed from the sewage okay before it enters the treatment units okay before it enters the further after uh, the further treatments. So before they enter the further treatments, they should be these creases and oils that should be removed. Okay, so this is the main the aim of your skimming tank. Here. So here basically your um, these things uh, notes are given. Okay, it's uh, written in brief. You can read it out. This is a skimming tank you can see. This one is just in the tank. And the main aim is that it, it is used to remove the oils and creases, okay? So, uh, skin tank numerical is not there, okay? So, after your depreter's tank, 
the records are there and again we will draw the more than records will come. So uh for the next notes I don't have it right now with me. Okay. So let me uh today let us uh, end it up here okay, up to here, okay? So we have done the decorative stamp and scaling tag. So after that we will be proceed to our primary sedimentation process. Okay. So we will do that in the next class on Friday. Clear? Yeah? Okay. So let me take your attendance. I will share the share this PDF by now, okay? You can note it down in your copy the minimum lines. Number one. Number one. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Number two. Yes, ma'am. Three. Present, ma'am. Four. Present, ma'am. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Present, ma'am. Twelve, one number. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Eleven, ma'am. Eleven. Eleven is present. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Eleven, twelve, and thirteen. Thirteen, fourteen. Present, ma'am. Fourteen. Fourteen. Okay. Fifteen, sixteen. Fifteen. 16, 17, Present, 18, 17, 17, okay. 18, yes, ma'am, 18, okay. 19, 19, 20, ma'am, 19, present, 19, 20, 21, okay, 21, 22, ma'am, 22, present, Yes, ma'am. Twenty-three. Twenty-three. Twenty-four. Yes, ma'am. Twenty-five. Present, ma'am. Twenty-six. Twenty-six. Twenty-seven. Present, ma'am. Okay, twenty-six present. Okay. Twenty-seven. Twenty-eight. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, twenty-three. Twenty-three. Yes, ma'am. Twenty-three. Okay. Okay, then twenty-eight. Three. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Twenty-nine. Twenty-nine. Yes, ma'am. Okay, thirty. Present, ma'am. Thirty-one. Thirty-two. Thirty-two. Thirty-three. Thirty-four. Thirty-five. Thirty-six. Thirty-four, ma'am. Thirty-four. Okay. 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, present, 40 is present, okay, 41, 42, 43, 44, 44, 45, who is present, 43 is present, 43 is present, okay, 45, Ma'am. Okay. okay. Forty five. Forty four is absent, right? Okay. Forty five. Forty six. Forty six is present. Forty seven. Forty eight. Forty nine. Fifty. So anybody is left up? Anyone left out? Forty eight. Okay, I'm uh, reading out the absent ones. Okay, you just cross check. Oh, number five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then uh, row number thirteen, fifteen, sixteen, twenty-seven, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-five. 36, 37, 38, 39, 
Okay, others I have given present. Okay, one number 19. 19 I have given present, Majat. Okay, then. Okay, then. Uh, we will meet in the next class, okay? On Friday.